There's a good money-making opportunity on the late Sunday afternoon football card. No, it's not Chiefs 49ers. It's Panthers and Commanders. I've got a free play with analysis for you in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, breaking down your 4 o'clock Eastern game, Panthers and Commanders. You know, a little surprising to see this game on the 4 o'clock Eastern schedule. We've got Raiders and Rams, Panthers, Commanders, and then the big boy game at 425 Eastern, of course, is Chiefs and 49ers. What's also strange is these two NFC teams are playing, yet the game is on CBS. Back in my day, it was always a Fox game if it was two NFC teams, but I think basically they're clearing the way because Fox got that Kansas City-San Fran game. And while that might be the better game to watch, I get it, I do think there's a money-making opportunity with the total in this game between Carolina and Washington. But first, let's look at the side. These have been two of the most publicly active teams in the NFL this year. The public has faded Carolina in five of the six weeks. They've gone four and one fading them this year. That's the main reason the public has turned to profit. The other reason they have turned to profit is because they have been on the commanders in three of the first six weeks, and they've gone two and one back in them. In fact, the only time the, the public hasn't cashed with Washington was last week, if you recall. They were a huge public dog. Ding, ding, red flag alert against the Ravens. I recommended the Ravens for you in my Fade the Public video, and Baltimore barely covered by half a point or a push on the closing line as there was a sharp square divide. So it's very interesting because, once again, not surprisingly, the Commanders are a huge public side this week in Week 7. But I'm not biting. I'm not looking to necessarily fade the public in this one because so far this year, fading Carolina and playing Washington when there's been public plays has gone 6-2. and two. Um, The public's gone 6-2. and two. The public's gone 4-9 and nine on all other public plays in my weekly videos. So once again, overall this season, uh, fade the public has gone 10-11. and 11. But they're 4-9 and nine in games not involving the Panthers or Commanders. So they've actually done quite well fading Carolina, playing Washington. So we're going to stay off the side here. By the way, if you want more information on Fade the Public, I do a deep dive video every weekend here, breaking down the most public side. So make sure you click subscribe and you hit that bell as well. But once again, not in a hurry to back the Panthers as they are have covered just one spread all season. And by the way, that's the only time I've used them this year was back in week three for a best bet for my clients at Wager Talk when they played the Raiders. So I'm 1-0 with the Panthers not sure I'm biting this week, because even with Andy Dalton in the lineup, they've still gone just one and three straight up in ATS their last four. But they are a better offensive team with Dalton in the lineup. In fact, his numbers are tremendously better than Bryce Young. So far this season, he's averaging 6.2 yards per pass, 87.6 rating, very mediocre. But Bryce Young was averaging 4.8 with a 48.5 rating and no touchdowns, three interceptions. So Dalton is a huge step up. And the Commanders, while a great offensive team, are still very suspect on defense. And I do think Carolina will have some success moving the ball in this game, especially through the air. However, I just don't think they can slow down Washington. And that's why I want nothing to do with the uh, fade in the public situation here. Carolina's pass defense has been awful. They've given up 7.8 yards per pass against teams that average just 6.6. Jaden Daniels and company averaging 7.8 yards per pass this season against teams that allow just 6.8. So Washington should be able to put up a ton of points in this game. So let's not worry about the side. Let's look at the total over the total. Over 51.5 makes a lot of sense in this one. Now, there has been some sharp money this week on this total. Bumped it from 48 all the way up to 51.5. 51, of course, is a very key number. But I think this game goes even higher than that. So if you're going to play this one on late Sunday afternoon, I think over 51.5 is the way to go as both teams should have success throwing the ball Sunday, 4.05 Eastern on CBS. Hey, speaking of that Fade the Public video, make sure you click subscribe and you click the bell for instant alerts. You can get all the other public sides this week and whether you should fade them or not. I always give you my insight on that as well. If you're finding these free play videos useful, I will keep them coming. Just comment below and let me know. And also do me a favor, click the thumbs up, the like button, as that's a huge help as well. And by the way, I read all the comments and I do reply back here on Wager Talk TV. What are your thoughts on this game? What other NFL plays do you like? Any player props here? I mean, obviously, high score and shootout, both passing attacks doing well. I like passing yards over. I like receiver props over. Uh, any individuals that you would like, uh, drop them in the comments below as I do read the comments and I reply back. Hey, these free play videos are nice, but if you're serious about winning, you've got to have my personal best bets. I'm extremely selective. Maybe one to two best bets a day during the week, three to four on Saturday, three to four on Sunday at most, sometimes less. Selectivity works. Entering this weekend on an 8-1, and 89% run over the past week. That's just over one play a day. But when you go 8-1, and one, you win a lot of money. So these free play videos don't often make the cut. Maybe treat them as a 1% opinion. 
These are for people doing their own handicapping, trying to build their bankroll. But if you are serious about winning, my 4% best bets are a must-have, up over 170 units of profit already this calendar year, ranked number one at Wager Talk in 2024 Units 1, and there's still over two months to go. And you can get these next two months for free, starting today, the rest of 2024 for free, when you sign up for the 2025 All Sports All Access. Several reasons why this is a great offer. First of all, if you're serious about winning long-term, you need to play consistently every day, and the one-year all-access is the best option. But with this package, you're getting another two and a half months included for free. So it's over a 14 and a half month package, and I'm including an additional $200 discount on the one-year package for next year. So you're getting a $200 discount for next year and the next two and a half months for free when you sign up this weekend. It's a no-brainer. It works out to about just over a dollar a day. If you've been sitting on the sidelines and watching winter after winter continue to pass you by, Make the investment choice now and treat this seriously. It takes five minutes a day to get the plays, put them in, and you're on the way to a long-term investment approach like hundreds and hundreds of my long-term clients do every day. This is my 29th season as a full-time professional handicapper, and it's quite simple. If I have a best bet, my clients get it as well with analysis. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. You can get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Now, if you want to just do football only, nothing wrong with that. I do have special discounts this weekend for the rest of the college season for $2.99 or the NFL as well for just $3.99. Those promo codes for football only are on my page, along with the special one-year rest of this year free offer. So you can take your time, look at those. Also, while you're there, check out my daily best bets and look at the bottom of the pages. You'll get a recap every day of what every play I've released. It's a rolling last 20 recap, and you can click on them and see the analysis so you understand how I do things. Once again, if you're building that bankroll, my page is a great resource, even if you're not a client yet, because you get a recap of the best bets you can learn and earn by clicking on the analysis. And I also post free plays throughout the week. When I'm selective, those last cuts are pretty strong still, so check out the daily free plays as well. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz/sm. Follow me on social media also, at Steve Merrill, 2Rs, 1L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free content coming up next.